Hi everyone, how are we all? Today we're going to take a look at the next factory in the No Belt Highway series. The Giant Screw Factory, with the Giant Screw, the Giant Screw Container, and the 24 port, or rather 28 port, drone hub above. We're using the pure coal note overclocked on a Mark III miner to give us 780 coal per minute. Which goes across this nice bridge here, into the cave and up into the factory. We're using the two normal iron nodes just nearby, overclocked with Mark III miners to give us 480 iron ore per minute each. And just around the other side we're using the normal copper node with a Mark III miner overclocked to give us 480 ore per minute. When we come to this factory we have a parking space for our explorer and a catwalk access up to the main entrance. When we first proceed inside, we are presented with a giant sign that says that safety zones are for the continued production and not the pioneer's safety. Our main entrance room is pretty similar to all our other factories so far in this series. Power control for the hypertubes, drones, our casted screws, steel screws, our lights, our alloy ingots, the miners, smelters, steel ingots from the forges, and our steel beams from the constructors, and our hypertube here leading up to the drone hub above. Our door here leads us into the box of screws part of this battery. It's worthwhile noting that this battery was built on a circular foundation, but then all foundations were removed and catwalks were placed to form a circle and then foundations relayed. So all of our machines, conveyors, conveyor lifts, do not match the foundations that they are sitting on. On this level, we have nine smelters producing 30 iron ingots per minute each. And we have nine forges. Using the alternative iron alloy ingots, producing at 50 ingots per minute each. We have a ladder so that we can access the next floor and a sign to say the level and what this level is producing. This level is the same as below, again, nine smelters making 30 ingots per minute each and nine forges making the iron alloy ingots at 50 per minute each. On level two, we are still making the alternative iron alloy ingots at 50 minutes per each. We have a logistics sorting level here behind the wall, which is actually taking the iron ore that we can see over there down to the levels below. On level three here, we are making the solid steel ingot recipe in nine forges overclocked at 108.3333% producing 65 solid steel ingots per minute. This is using the coal and some of our iron alloy ingots from below to make the alternative recipe. Level four again is the same. Nine forges making the solid steel ingots alternative recipe at 65 per minute. On level five, we have our first row of constructors making our steel beams overclocked at 109%, making each 16.35 steel beams per minute each. So a total of nine constructors. And the same thing again on this floor. The steel beams then proceed up 
to a belt bus to merge to go down our central saw shaft to join the iron ingots to go into our screw container factory next door. As you can see, there are many safety barriers around in this factory. As the sign says, this is for continued production, not the pioneer safety. We go out this door to proceed into the screw container part of this factory. Here we have a little platform that allows us to get from one factory to the other as our container of screws is at a slightly different alignment to our giant screw itself. We proceed inside here and we're presented with our entire screw production facility. Here's a picture of what it looked like before I put the outer casing on. So in the floor, we can see all of our items coming in and leading into some of the machines, just so we can see that things are being produced efficiently. So we, we have a total of 58.5 constructors making our steel beam screws. 58 of these are running at producing 260 screws per minute each. And the 0.5 is producing 130 screws. So we have two rows of constructors making the steel screws. One along the bottom here and one just above. It's all produced identical which we can access by the ladder and cap. Each allotment of constructors in a is in a group of four. Two constructors here merge together and their screws go down to the storage container behind and merge into the container. The same is done for the ones below. Two together and come into the container. Each belt is optimized with splitters and mergers and smart splitters to allow the maximum amount to go up each belt possible per minute. And on the next two levels, that's level three and four, we are making our casted screws alternative recipe. We have 62 constructors making our casted screws, 50 screws per minute each giving us a total of 3,100 screws per minute. But on this end here, even though we're all in standby because we're already full of screws, we have some constructors that are not being used at all. You can see that this one here has no screws on this belt. That is because we have slightly more constructors than we actually need in this facility. Because as I said earlier, we are actually making 500 screws less per minute than we need. And that's simply just for the future. In the ceiling of this factory, we also have all of our belts taking our screws up to our drone ports. These are supported by beams connected to the walls and the ceiling as needed. And here's a shot of our central shaft as it takes all the screws up and our hypertube going up to the hub above. All of our screw lifts are labeled with signs telling us how many per minute comes up each lift. As we have some down on this end that are taking less. I placed a, a roof over this factory to make it look like it's an unopened box of screws that you may see in your hardware store. And here's a close up view of all the elevators taking the screws up into our drone hub above. There is a bug in Satisfactory I found at the moment that if you enter the hypertube with photo mode on, when you exit, you lose all controls. I don't know if, I've, if there's a way around this at the moment, so I've had to restart the game whenever this has happened. So I've got the HUD turned on as we proceed up to our drone hub above.
Now that I'm up here, I realize we should probably have a ladder or a staircase allowing us access, just in case we don't have any. But once we're up here, we have our exit to go back down, and we have four hypertubes that lead down to each drone port below. Each drone port consists of six drones and one battery drone, which you can see just below us here. We can also turn off each drone hub. But I must say the view from up here is absolutely fantastic. We have no man's land over there. Our giant fuel generator over there. An area just below that we use for filming little tutorials. Our giant Fixmas battery and the giant rocket. You can slightly see the igloo there. An upcoming video next week of our giant reinforced iron plate stack. Our copper factory in the distance some drone ports taking copper and iron to their factories and you can see there this round thing that looks like it's under construction which eventually will be a giant rotor making 150 rotors per minute and below there you can just see our doggo habitat let's go down to drone hub one Each drone hub is lit up in blue. This is the uh, blue that is the color of our screw containers on conveyor belts. And we have each drone port labeled with their number. Once a drone does fly somewhere, I add an extra sign to say where it's going. So on drone hub one, on port one, is going to central storage. It's lit up with a blue light. Our screws come in, our batteries come in, and our batteries come down from the battery drone that sits above. None of the other drone hubs have batteries yet as we're not using any of them. Because as Ada has said, Screws? Are you kidding me? Don't they know they can remove the need for screws with alternate recipes? I can't. I just can't. And that's it. Our giant screw and screw container factory making our 18,310 screws per minute. And as always, here's a preview of our next factory, the giant reinforced iron plate. Please consider subscribing liking and hitting that notification bell for future videos and until next time i'll see you later